I'm making this short video today is because uh, the number one reason that founders should consider investment crowdfunding is because crowdfunding is actually a utility. Uh, what that means is you want to, as a founder, you want all of the traffic your website can get. And to make that happen, you want a crowdfunding button on it. So that when people come to look at your web page to view your good product or service, whatever that happens to be, that they stay on your web page. Because the longer you can retain their attention, uh, the more valuable, the higher their lifetime value as a customer is. And so right now people think, hey, crowdfunding is the alternative to venture capital. When it's not an alternative to venture capital, crowdfunding is no more alternative venture capital than the sun is alternative to oil. It is actually the first thing you should be doing as a founder. I'll break it down really quickly to you. One, as a founder, you're going to go raise money. It doesn't matter if you're raising money from sharks, VCs, uh, angels, whomever are the crowd. They all need to know the same exact information. And because of that, you want to put all of this information on a standardized form and put it on your website. Again, not a crowdfunding site, but your website. This is called a private portal. There's lots of options for this. Shoot me a DM, I'll explain that to you. Or you can go follow David Duccini over at Silicon Prairie. They'd love to create a private portal for you. So that when a private portal is, is that people go to your website and they never leave your website. Again, that's the power of attention, the power of gaining that organic traffic. Because when you go to raise money, you want to... You might raise money, but you might also sell your good product or service. There's always a bump in revenue whenever you, whenever a business performs a crowdfunding sale. Why? Because people, customers, they get to be aware that your crowdfunding exists, that your product rather exists, and therefore they're looking at, hey, we should probably purchase this product. And there's no capital in the world better than revenue. The next thing is when you state your terms in your crowdfunding campaign, excuse me, you state your terms in your crowdfunding campaign. This is so important. You've got to tell your investors, here are the terms I want you, I'm want. i accepting investments in. When you do this on one-off with VCs, one-off with sharks, one-off with angels, you're negotiating terms all the time. They want to change it. They want to look at something else. Screw all that. It's super inefficient. It's like when people don't tell you what their salary is in the, at jobs. You, you're competing and bidding against yourself. Don't do that. As a founder, you're going to find yourself diluted down because you don't know what the actual value of your company is. Your company's valuation is based upon whatever a shark t wants to tell you it is. And when shark set the menu, when shark sets the price, your, your equity, your value is always on the menu. Don't do that. Stand up a crowdfunding campaign. That way, every shark, angel, and VC that you encounter, you can tell them, here's my offering, here's my terms, here's what everyone else is investing in and at that juncture it doesn't become an ego game between the sharks or the angels and the vcs and yourself it's these are the terms you want to have that power to just tell tell a potential investor these are the terms why you know the value of your of your business you know the value of your good product or service and when you have investors when you have customers customers who become investors, an investor is someone who's invested in your business. That's super powerful. Why? You have all these investors on your cap table who help establish this is the value of my business. This is the valuation because you have 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 5,000 investors on your cap table. If a shark doesn't want to come and feed at your table at the, at the price that you set, you don't actually want them on your cap table. Because what really is a shark going to do for you at that juncture? when you've already gotten investors on your cap table. 20,000 investors on your cap table is a beautiful thing. The sharks, they always say, oh no, you don't wanna have crowdfunding, it ruins your cap table. That's a lie because they're being greedy. They wanna dilute you down, they wanna devalue your business and then tell you, here's what we're gonna invest in. Flip the script on them, create your crowdfunding campaign, there's 60 plus FINRA approved portals and let people know, hey, when I say people, I mean people because people come in the form of sharks, angels and investors. Let people know, here are my terms. Here's our business. Here's why we're raising and what we're raising money for. Make it plain and simple. Have it as a private label on your own website. Don't send it to WeFunder. Don't send it to Start Engine. Don't send it to Republic. Send it to your website. 
It's not about the funding portal. It's about your brand. It's about increasing the value for your business. That's why crowdfunding is a utility. That's why every founder should consider it. That's about it. I'm at five minutes, a little bit longer than I intended. Uh, I'm here in um, Playa del Carmen in Quintana Roo, Mexico. Uh, if you're in the area, uh, hit up uh, Playa Mao on Instagram. That's P-L-A-Y-A-M-A-U for great accommodations. Hit up Caesar, not Caesar. Hit up, um, oh, I just forgot your name. Hit up Ramsey's. Uh, and he can tell you about crowdfunding here in the Yucatan as well as throughout Mexico. Uh, and if you're in the States, stay tuned. More information on why every founder should be crowdfunding, should create their own crowdfunding campaign. Just keep in mind, same exact information. It goes to everybody. That You just need a simple platform so that every person, every potential investor can see the terms of your deal, understand your business, and make a decision to invest. Till then, talk to you later. I'm Samson Williams. Peace.